In this video, we're going to look at three examples to help us practice measuring angles with a protractor. You'll notice that we're actually starting with example B today. So in the first example, it says, what is the measure of the angle shown below? And we can see our angle here in red that's lined up on the protractor, although neither of the rays that make the angle are lined up with a zero. So I'm going to look at where each ray ends in order to figure out what the angle has to be. So the angle starts over here at the 15 degree mark and continues on, continues on, continues until we get over here to 140 degrees. And that's using the upper set of numbers. So that means the angle has to be the difference between those two. So 140 minus 15 is 125 degrees. So this angle is 125 degrees. Notice that you could also go in the other direction, starting with the lower set of numbers. So starting with 40 and going all the way over here until we get to 165 degrees, looking at the lower set of numbers. And if you subtract those numbers, 165 minus 40, you'll also get 125. You definitely don't have to do both calculations, but it's important to realize that you could use either set of numbers to do this problem. Let's look at now example C. It says, what is the measure of angle QRT in the diagram below? So QRT, if we follow the letters around, is this big angle, so it means what's the measure of this full angle here? Now according to the angle addition postulate, if you know the two smaller angles, you can add those up to find the, the measure of the whole angle. So in this case, the measure of angle QRT will equal 15 degrees plus 30 degrees, which is 45 degrees. All right, let's look at the last example, example D, which says draw a 135 degree angle. And we have a protractor here to help. So remember, the first thing you should do if you're trying to draw your own angle is line up or draw in one line segment that matches exactly the bottom of the protractor so it passes through the zero degrees. Now you could have done here to the right or gone to the left, either way. Then follow the protractor along, making sure you're looking at the right set of numbers until you get to the number you want, which in this case has 135. Since I drew my line over here and I passed through this zero, I'm gonna be following the bottom set of numbers until I get to 135. Here I see 130, and 135 will be exactly in the middle so that it lines up right here. And if you have a ruler, it's a good idea to use your ruler to make sure that your lines are straight. So now we can draw in our second ray from the 135 degrees back to our original end point there. And this will be our angle. So this angle right here is 135 degrees. And that should make sense because it's clearly bigger than a 90 degree right angle. And it should be because it's 135 degrees. All right, hopefully you're feeling confident with measuring angles. And now you should try the guided practice and other practice problems on your own.